Palestinians are demanding that Arab Gulf countries send much needed fuel to the Gaza Strip. Nor Harazine now reports. This morning, dozens of Palestinian residents protested in front of Gaza's municipality office, calling on the Arab Gulf countries to intervene and send the fuel aid to the Gaza Strip. The protest follows nine years of siege by Israel. Israel originally imposed the siege after Palestinian resistance groups imprisoned Israeli soldier Gilad Shalit in 2006. Even though Shalit was released four years ago, the illegal siege continues to bite hard on Gazans, especially after the Egyptian military cracked down on 95% of the smuggling tunnels between the Gaza Strip and Egypt. The siege has caused many crises, one of the most serious being the current fuel shortage, tragically affecting all the residents of the Gaza Strip. We have been protesting for months now and nothing has changed. What else should we do? Children have died, some hospitals have stopped operating. This is an unacceptable situation. We are forced to live with only two to four hours of electricity per day. Please, I'm asking through your channel, please help us, Arab countries, Western countries, anyone, please help us. During Israel's latest July-August war on the Gaza Strip, the Israeli warplanes targeted Gaza's only power plant and it no longer functions. Jamal Derdisa from the Gazan Power Authority said that the damages from the attack could take up to a year to fix completely. Both Israel and Egypt used to feed electricity into Gaza, but the supply is currently severely limited as a part of the Israeli-Egyptian blockade on the coastal enclave. Nur Harazin, TV, Gaza.